Hey guys, I'm the Log Picking Patrolman, and today I want to uh, open up this challenge lock that was sent to me by Mr. Jeff Moss. Uh, I got it from him just the other day. I uh, took it to work with me that night and managed to get it open. Um, and I didn't have a chance to make a video yesterday because I had to work. And yes, I have to work today, so I'm actually sitting here dressed, ready to go out the door for work. But I'm going to try to get this video done. Um, this is my third time to get the camera and everything to cooperate, so I'm going to try to make it uh, fairly quickly here. Uh, you can see the key does work perfectly. There's no dragging, no uh, binding up or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to use top of the keyway tension. And use this medium hook. Let's see. Got to click off a one. Let's see. I think one needed another click. Maybe. One. Two is loose. Three, got a couple clicks out of three. I'll leave him alone for now. Four. Not so much. Five, got a good click there. Okay, four is bound up now. It feels solid. Let's go back to one. Okay, dropped into a bit of a false set there. Good thing to focus. Pin two. So I think that's either so one. So. Okay, even deeper false set by touching two. Let's see, three. Oh, nudge three, and it came right open. Cool. Really fun little lock to pick. Um, it's a nice little challenge lock to have in your bag. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Get the camera positioned. All right, let's get this tailpiece off of here. Well, if my screwdriver didn't want to fail on me. Sorry about this. That's the first screwdriver I grabbed for. Make sure it fit. Alright. Pop that screw out there tailpiece there and let's see I'm gonna use a shim but I want to look at followers maybe since it's got that tailpiece on it I don't have a follower that has that exact cut out uh, now that's not gonna work um, let's see let's try this one I don't know if with a shim. Let's see. Just want to make sure I don't get anything hung up in there. Um, let's see. I wonder if I do it like that. I guess I need to invest in some bigger followers. It's really, and I just locked it back up. It's okay, we got the key. Um, sorry guys, I should have checked the follower situation uh, before I started this video. Um, 
going to go ahead and slide the shim in here. Uh, I really don't want any surprises. Okay, well, that went good. All right, let's get the camera in here a little bit closer. Uh, pin one. And a little T-pin on the top of it. Pin two. Not sure if that's pin and pin or not. Pin three looks like it's serrated. Pin four, another little T pin, key pin. Get that arranged. in a minute and key pin 5 is a serrated key pin uh, all kinds of threading uh, every chamber except chamber 5 is threaded so 1 through 4 is threaded all right let's set this over here and pull this shim out Actually, before I start pulling those out, I want to... Some little T-pins bothering me right there like that. Okay. I'm going to be really careful with these guys. Alright. Driver 1 is a serrated. Two, believe two might be a pin, pin actually. Another one. <clears throat> Sorry guys if I keep getting that out of frame. Um, and I don't see... There might be. I'll get these other pins out and then come back to that one. Um... Three is definitely pin and pin. That's the outer part of it. The inner part of it. So I believe there is still something down in there in chamber two. We'll go back and fish it out in a second. Okay, and here is uh, pin four. And pin five. Let me dump these springs out here. Spring one. So brass spring. Copper. Two, okay, and this little wafer fell out of uh, two as well. Three, let's see what's still hiding in there. So let me come back and get that out of three. I'm just going to go ahead and get these other guys. Out of here. And there was five. Could have rolled it off my hand like that again if I tried. And there's four. Uh, these look like all the same types of springs except just uh, 
maybe a little different lengths. All right. Spring three is still not wanting to come out of there. If I can grab it just a little bit. Okay, I don't see any more. Um, see, and I didn't see any more to two other than that little uh, wafer that was in there. Um, doesn't look like anything's been done. Well, no, hang on. Let's look here. Uh, top of the Bible. Um, it looks like maybe some undercutting in pin one or chamber one, I should say. Um, doesn't look like anything else has been done to it. So, so here's a close up of the pins. Uh, you can see key pin one was a pin and pin uh, with the top of the key pin hollowed out there for this little bit to sit down in there. Very nice. Come on, focus. There we go. Cool. And driver pin one, uh, this is serrated. Pin two had this very nicely torpedo shaped uh, pin to it uh, with serrations on the top. Let's see. I if I can quit fumbling everything today. Hmm. And then two had this really skinny pin with the wafer. Um, I believe the wafer was between uh, this little narrow pin and the spring, so that pin wouldn't jump up into the spring. Uh, three had another serrated key pin and a pin and pin driver um, that smaller element there uh, pin four was another pin and pin key pin and a serrated with a spool element driver five was another serrated key pin and this really nasty double spool looking pin um, really got hung up on everything so anyway guys hope you enjoyed it sorry the video took a little bit longer than what i thought um but anyway please don't pick any locks that don't belong to you please do click like please don't pick any locks that are currently in use please do click subscribe and please do tell my boss that i was actually doing something constructive since i might be late for my meeting this afternoon so anyway have a great day